Hey, 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 Libra, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, February 18th to the 19th. Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below if you would before you leave today. I do appreciate it. And thank you for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. Comment as well. Let me know if this resonates with you guys, okay? All right, Libra. Let's see what spirit has to say for you. Please remember that energy and time are fluid. So feel free to switch up the roles as you deem necessary. And know that this can be past, present, or future. Okay, I'm hearing forsaking all others, go forward in achievement of your goals. That's the statement. Forsaking all others. See, they give me statements like this sometimes, and it's like you really have to think, but they do make you think, though. I have to give them that. So it's like a puzzle for you to figure out, I'm thinking. So... I usually write down the statement and then look up, you know, like I'll look up forsaken and see how many different definitions there are. And it's funny how you find definitions of words that you didn't even know existed. You know, the, the context that, um, you know, what you think it doesn't belong. It's like, oh shit, it does belong. It's just, it's different. Interesting. Anyway, I love words. You're an air sign. You should love words. All right, Libra. Huh. They do want you to go forward in your goals. See, I'm feeling like don't let anybody stop you. Don't let anybody hold you back. Okay? And whatever it is you're trying to achieve, whatever it is your goal is, um, don't, don't stop. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Let me get one more card here. Let me get one more card for Libra. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Knight of Swords right now. I want to get one more card in the Eight of Swords. Okay, so. Yeah, see, you've got the Eight of Swords, right? Right above it is the Queen of uh, Pentacles. And you're looking at this pentacle. I feel this is you, right? You're wanting something to grow. You're wanting to build something solid, a foundation, right? But you're putting yourself in this mental prison for some reason. It could be due to heartbreak over here, something that happened, some information that came in. But they're like, you know, forsake all others. You need to move forward. You, you, you know, fuck them. You need to move forward. You need to move forward. That's what I'm feeling. <sighs> Circumstances don't matter. As Bashar would say, only state of being matters, right? So maintain that state of being, that state of balance, and continue on your path. Circumstances around you, don't even bother with them. It's not putting your head in the sand. It's just focusing. Is it going to change it? It's not going to change it. It's not going to change the fact that maybe your heart was broken. Okay. <coughs> uh, okay.
Okay, so clarify this Queen of Pentacles. What is it that Libra is trying to build? What are you trying to do here, Libra? Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. She's very down to earth. She's also very intuitive. Ooh, Four of Swords. Yeah, you're really ruminating about this, but to the point where you are getting caught up in your mind. You've pieced out. For some reason, you're not moving forward, and they want you to move forward. Oh, okay. Knight of Wands, the Devil, and the Hangman. This is being stuck, okay? Could be due to a toxic relationship or some sort of addiction. This is player energy. Hmm. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is Capricorn. And then you have the card of Pisces here. <sighs> okay. Now I'm hearing settling for something that wasn't yours to begin with. Hmm. They're saying, you want more. You want more. But something's holding you back. In, and you're not allowing yourself um, movement forward here. Because of this, I'm going to clarify this broken heart. Yeah, some sort of um, temptation. Toxicity. Page of Wands. Yeah, you you saw a message, got a message. She got the Page of Wands here, and um, cause you you had a bright outlook for your future with this person. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like you were building something. Four of Pentacles. And you held on tight to this person. You held on tight to this idea, this life. Okay, tell me about this Knight of Swords. This won't resonate with everybody, so don't make it fit. But this is the story. This is what's coming up. Yeah, Three of Cups, so a third-party situation. This person reunited with somebody, possibly, um, well, if it's, who did they reunite with? Somebody from the past? Ha. Ah. Yep, I knew it. I saw the Six of Cups before it even came out. Somebody from the past. Um, childhood sweetheart, um, childhood whatever, soulmates from the past. So this was the communication, the message that you got. You got all tied up in your head. I feel like you're reflecting on the toxicity of this relationship. Um, I may have been thinking with the wrong, you know, appendage, maybe. Possibly, I don't know. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Ace of Cups, yeah. You're all wrapped up in your head about this love. They want you to move forward forsaking all others. Now the statement makes so much sense. Still going to look up the word, but yes, you need to continue on. Yes, you need to continue on. Can I have some advice for Libra? Okay, focus on your healing. Focus on you. Focus on your growth. Focus on building. Whatever it is this Queen of Pentacles wants to build. Get out of chaos. If you're in the midst of chaos and fighting, stop it. Stop it. That's what they're saying. Get out of the competition. If this was a third party, don't even be a part of the competition. Get the fuck out. Page of Cups. This is, this is an apology, but I'm feeling like they want you. Huh. Okay. I'm 
Um, they're wanting you to apologize to somebody, but I'm not sure what person it is. If it's apologize to who? Let me see. Let's clarify. You know, I keep saying I got to make these videos shorter and I can't do it. It's just, I get so caught up. Nine of Pentacles. Um, somebody could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody that's single, independent, abundant. Um, tell me more. Who is this person to Libra? Somebody that you walked away from or they walked away from you. Somebody from the past. So their advice is to apologize what other advice regarding this person? Well, that came out of left field, Libra. What other advice? Aha. Seven of Swords. Uh, Seven of Swords is the liar, cheater, thief. Don't lie. Don't run away from... Don't run away from your problems. Don't run away from issues. Don't run away from it. Clear the confusion. Okay, these are options as well. And you've got two sevens here. This is spiritual connection. So connect spiritually, I'm feeling. Okay, um, stop deception. This could be the devil part of this um, reading here. This connection to this devil card. Toxicity, um, maybe player energy. Not sure, although I do not think it was you who stepped out on this um, connection. You may have in this other connection that you walked away from, right? Which is what you could be reflecting on with the Devil card and the Knight of Wands. Because that apology is here. So, boy, Libra, you've got a lot to do. But you need to move forward. Forsaking all others any of these people. Okay. All right, Libra. I hope this helped. I hope it resonated. If it didn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. Throw it out the window. Okay. All right, Libra. Thank you so much. Please drop a like, share, and subscribe right down below. You have yourself a great day and I will talk to you tomorrow.